Hello Year 7, in this lesson we're going to be looking at introducing circles which is on page 232 to 233 and for this video you're going to need a pen, a pencil, a ruler, a pair of compasses, a protractor and a piece of string. We'll get to why you need the piece of string a bit later on. So I'd like to start off with just a bit of terminology, so some key things about a circle. Okay, so you're going to need to draw this circle in your books and make the notations that I'm going to do, but we'll get to how you draw this circle so perfectly a bit in a minute. Okay, so I've drawn this circle and I've drawn two lines on it. Okay, this line here is called the radius. And that goes from the centre of the circle to the edge of the circle. Okay, it can go from anywhere to the edge. So it doesn't have to go to this point just here. I could go from this bit, this centre of my circle, to this edge. Or centre of my circle to this edge. As long as I'm going from the centre to the edge, I have got a radius. Okay, so a definition is the radius is the distance from the centre of the circle to the edge. And I can see here that my radius is three centimetres long. Okay, so in my case I've got a radius of three centimetres. I've then got this blue line. Okay, so this blue line here is known as the diameter. Okay, and the diameter goes through the centre of the circle, like the radius did, but it goes to two edges on the circle. Okay, so a diameter joins two points on the edge of the circle together, and it has to go through the middle of our circle, the centre of our circle. So like the radius, I could draw that line absolutely anywhere. So I could go from this point here all the way up to this point here. As long as I go through the centre of my circle, I have a diameter. Okay, so a diameter is the distance all the way across the circle going through the centre. Okay, so in this case my diameter is six centimetres. So now that isn't a coincidence because the diameter is made up of two radii, isn't it? So it goes from the centre to the edge, but I've also got a radius going from the centre to the edge there. Okay, so it's a nice fact that it is, so it is twice the length of the radius. Okay, so this is all really useful information that you need to be getting down into your book. And then the very final bit is all the way around the outside. So this is where you're going to need your piece of string. Okay, so this distance all the way around the outside of my circle is known as the circumference. Okay, all the way around the edge of my circle is known as the circumference okay and we'll get to how we measure that with our piece of string a bit later on okay so we can get a final definition before we get to drawing circles is the circumference it's the distance all the way around the outside of the circle. Okay, so we've got three key terms and a key diagram that you need to get into your books. 
Okay, so you can get down the key terms to begin with, and now we can look at having a go at drawing our circle. So to draw our circle, we need a pair of compasses. Okay, now before you do anything with this pair of compasses, you need to make sure that the arms are quite tight. Okay, so if these are really, really loose, you're going to need to get a screwdriver and tighten up these little screws here. Okay, you notice that it's got a little handle at the top. That's really important. So you're only ever, when you're holding a compass, when it's all set up, you're only ever going to hold it from there. You don't hold the arms of the compass because that will change the distance. So you only ever hold this little handle at the top. So we need our pencil. Make sure it's nice and sharp because that will make your life a bit easier. And the way you're going to do it, put the arms of the compasses together, loosen that little bit there, and then do you see that I'm lining up the point of my pencil with the point of my compasses. Okay, so when that is nice and lined up, I can then tighten my compasses nice and tight so the pencil's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so the point of my pencil is lined up with the point of my compasses. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we are going to sketch our ruler, and for this one, I drew it with a radius of three centimeters. So the point of my compasses is the middle or the center of my circle and the pencil wherever that goes to that will give me my radius of the circle so if I want a circle with a three centimeter radius I'm going to place the point of my compasses on zero okay and then I'm going to stretch out my pencil to three centimeters Okay, it might be a bit easier if you do it standing up like that because then you can move it, you can move the arms of the compasses a lot easier. I'm only doing it like this so you can see it nice and clearly. Okay, so I've put the point of my compasses at zero, pencil at three centimeters, and then what we're going to do is we're only going to hold this arm here, this little handle at the top. So let me just adjust this. So, to get my pair of compasses, place the point of my compass on my paper, and then I'm going to hold just the handle. So I'm just holding the handle, and I'm going to draw my circle. So note that I'm not using the arms of my compasses, I'm only using the handle. And then I'm done. Nice and easy. So I can pop that to one side, mark where the centre of my circle is, okay, and then I can draw on where my radius is. So exactly like we've done up there, there's my radius, that one there, or it could be somewhere else, it could come down there. And then I've got my diameter, down to look like this. Again, remembering from our definition, as long as it goes through the centre and joins up at two points on the outside of the circle, on the edge of the circle, then we've got ourselves a diameter, and then our circumference is all the way around the outside. Okay, so hopefully now you have got everything that I've got on my page up here. Okay, so we know how to measure our radius. We know we place the ruler in the centre of our circle and then measure the distance to the edge. We know how to measure our diameter. We've got two methods to measure our diameter. One, we can go from one edge of the circle, pass through the middle, like I've done there, pass through the center, and then go to the other edge and measure it that way. Or I can use this nice fact that the diameter is twice the length of the radius. So I could measure the radius and then just double it and that will give me my diameter. The other thing that we need to look at is measuring our circumference. Okay, so a circumference, if you have a look on page 233, um, question three asks us to estimate the circumference using our piece of string. Okay, so that's what we've got here. So what I would do is place the piece of string on a point on my circle, and then just manipulate the string so it goes all the way around my circle. 
Okay, so see that I've covered a bit of the circle there with my string. I can let go of this edge now, this one here, this hand, and place my hand now onto there. Because I know that is a bit of the circle, so I can now just carry on measuring it. So going around until I get to a point where the string's not going to bend much more. And I've stopped there. Carry on. Just going to go around. Get to here. Let go. Don't need that bit. And I'll get to there. Can let go. And then I know I get to this start again. It's all really useful to make a little mark where you started. I forgot to do that. So if you're doing it, make a mark where you started on the circle so you know where you've got to stop. Okay? So I know that there is the length of my circumference. So all I need to do now is get myself a ruler, place the end of the string on zero, and then see where I get to. And I can see here it's just out of shot. I get to 20 centimetres. So it's approximately 20 centimetres. So approximately just means roughly. So the length of my circumference is approximately or roughly 20 centimetres in my case. Okay? Great. So what I would recommend is first have a go at trying to draw some circles, getting used to using your compasses, and that is doing question two on page um, 233 okay so have a go at question two on page 233 you're going to need your compasses your protractor your ruler your pencil and your pen okay to so have a go at those ones um, and then once you're done with that that's when you can then have a go at um, question three and question four so drawing it accurately using your ruler to measure some things um, so on and so forth Okay, if any of this is really tricky or you need a little bit of help with it, please email your class teacher. Once you have completed this work, so once you've done whatever you have done on page 233, please can you take a picture of your work and submit it onto class charts for your teacher to check and give you feedback on. Okay, I hope that was all really clear. Um, yeah, good luck. And well done for today.